Can we just take a moment, Jennifer, to acknowledge all the stupid bastards that bought up all the gas? <laughs> It wasn't me because I was out of gas you for a while. You were out of gas. <laughs> so you weren't one of those stupid people filling up a, a grocery bag with gasoline? <laughs> no, but I did see somebody doing There's that. supposedly a video of you. Yeah, you I did saw not. the video. No, I saw the video. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm thinking that for years to come, there's going to be stuff bubbling up. Repercussions. Because of repercussions, yep. Yeah. There's going to be... There are probably going to be a lot of home fires, a lot of garage fires, because there's a lot of people that bought a bunch of gasoline that aren't that accustomed to store it yet and don't, yeah, they're unfamiliar. And just so much danger. Hopefully and then, not. And then there's going to be a lot old of people gas. who have old gas that in, uh, five years down the road, they're going to say, oh, we got to use this gas. I, unless you had said something about that, I wouldn't have known that you have to use gas. Like... It does get old well, after yeah, a while. It does sort to, of separate, and you need, yeah, yeah you at the very least need to add fuel treatment. I'd let it sit in my garage forever. Let the experts <laughs> advise us. Yeah. But yeah, there are people putting gas in the wrong kind of containers. It's just so much. Uh, there's going to be <laughs> there's so much wrong with, with all the, the gas and buying. <laughs> anyway, I haven't filled up yet and it's, the crisis is over. I'm amazed. Yeah. I didn't until the very end. Which I was did have Saturday. a little emergency gas but I didn't even need to use it because my lovely wife filled up my truck. Uh -huh. You tend to do that don't you? She, I try. I tried last week. She'll use my didn't truck work. and she'll bring it back full of gas. <laughs> so what other things can happen because of this? I mean what other repercussions would, would there be? Lots. Uh, I mean politically. Well what happened across on the island last year, the house like exploded because there was so much. It was propane. But. Six houses, I, I am told, burned down. We're talking about like big, gorgeous houses. beach mansions, yeah. four le three level, four level. Oh. But remember when we were kids, when I was about 18 and Carter was in office, we had a bunch of ransom situations. That's so funny. We were just talking about and Carter gonna, the other day. How about that? We're having ransom crises again. Hmm. Wonder if that's wow. Wonder, I wonder if that has anything to do with Sign anything. Weakness, maybe. We're, we're paying, we're paying ransom, and it's just, it's just starting. So, <laughs> oh, sorry to be so cynical, people. Happy, uh, happy spring. I guess I should offer some, some constructive advice. Finally, in all this, and that is, let's, the takeaway. Let's, let's learn from this, people. Um, Let's not panic buy toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you can't, you can't, it's, you can't really stop these people from panic buying. It's what we're we're sheeple. So many, so many of us are sheeple, not us. But so, what I think people need to learn from this is to have stock, have gas, have your five gallon container, a couple of five gallon containers. Use your gas. Buy it if you if. Well, I've learned not to let myself get under a quarter of a tank because yeah. I ran out of gas one day. <laughs> it was to, not fun. And I had to come like the Lone Ranger and fill you yes. up. That beautiful Challenger was sitting out on the uh, 40. Yeah, right where the east, I had to be. I was right next to where traffic east was going Eastbound and by. down. Yeah. So buy yourself a couple of containers of gas and rotate it like any other stock. Use it. Replace it. Sit on that use it every you know every couple of months use your gas and buy more gas yeah in fact you can you can get in a routine where you get you get you got your gas sitting there five gallons you stick that gas container with the full five gallons in your truck head to the gas station fill it up and fill your truck up the rest of the way and repeat <laughs> a couple times a year all right lather rinse repeat there i said, I said something positive there you go. And on another positive note, think about the toilet paper crisis when everybody was hoarding toilet paper in the beginning of the pandemic. Well, for much of the pandemic, the change that that made in people's behavior, lots of changes. Like consider the fact that so many people went out and got plumbing so that they could wash their hineys rather than putting all that toilet paper into our sewer systems, into, in you know, those facilities that, that deal with uh, treatment of, wa of waste water. So that's a really good thing. That's a positive. So human beings, I guess, I guess we always 
come around to uh, hopefully, uh, well, what am I trying to say? Necessity is the mother of invention. Yeah, so good things come from bad things. Silver line. Cry when you get in therapy. Jen, look at him. He's healing. Tell me that's not a healer. <laughs> Go ask them what he is. She said he's a what? Huh? Australian cattle. What the hell? Because they're in a I have one. <laughs> you gotta throw it to him. What's the problem? What's the problem? Yeah. Why is your blanket moving? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> is that Destin is 30 now. Hello. You see that? Well, wow, I still have crazy. a few days left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, a few? Yeah, she's not Oh, three.